DIY Kobe Tower Kit that you can purchase from BoatMetals.com. These are the components you're going to get that are all the small. Okay, so you'll get tulip style rod holders with liners built in, welded in gimbal. This is a female pin. So you will get four female pins. What these are is this is at the bottom of each foot. It will attach to an ear mount, which you then attach to a pad. That pad gets bolted to your hard top or wherever it is that you're gonna mount this Cobia tower. Yes, complete hardware will come with everything you need to fully assemble it onto your boat. Okay. What I like to do when I'm first starting out is I take the main components of the Cobia tower and put them out. Now, you can see these pieces are gonna be long. They're gonna to need to be cut so you can decide the width that you want your top to be. This here are going to as rear feet. Again, you would wanna notch this. I like to line them up at the back of the tower so I know that those are gonna be my back legs. The front legs, which will have roughly a 70 degree angle on them to allow it to fold when it's complete. So the spread of these feet can be anywhere from 12 inches together all the way up to the width of the hoop at 40 inches. That'll allow for universal fitment per your boat. So this is the side support. These side supports are fairly universal and they can be used on the front legs or the back legs. If you know that you may put a, a leaning post built into this in the future time or you want to buy the deluxe kit, these go on the back legs and they'll run up the side of the back leg up to the hoop. And where it mounts to the hoop, you it allows you to have that structure to run a cross member for your seat frame. This bar back here allows you to mount a rear cushion in case you wanted to have a little back pad on there. That'll end up on the back of the hoop, about right there. And then these supports here are just um, curved supports that come from the front leg to the back leg once it's welded into position. Again, the layout and the way that you build this can be many different options based on your boat and your design. So, so if you want to put this support onto the front leg and you want these radiuses to go in opposite direction, you can do that. When I build them in upside down form. Sure. So the top down, I guess. I build the top upside down on the ground. I attach the rear legs, I attach the front legs, flip it back over so now I have a visual of what I'm working with and then I add in all the extra members. This here that we have, this is a DIY kit completely assembled in a fashion that works for this particular customer's boat. This is obviously a finished product. This is not the way that you receive the kit. You receive the kit packaged up. This is one configuration that you can do for the footprint of this tower. This leg could have been mounted here. It could have been mounted on the outside. You could have even angled it out a little bit if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. You can design it. All the components are here for you to do so. design here for the front legs it's a little bit long longer than normal here but this customer needed this much length from the front of his t-top to this pad here so when this thing can flip all the way over it clears the whole t-top you'll make this length the length that you need it for your mounting to be able to make this thing fold all the way over and clear your top it'll come with four rod holders I typically position the forward ones at a 45 degree angle it allows for easy rod insert and hangs the rod off the side of the T-top versus straight up and down. The back ones typically are not used as much, but for trailering purposes, when this thing's flipped over, I like to use them as kickstand holders. One of these kits run. This particular kit is a basic version and it starts at $749.99. So ship to your door free shipping for under $750. Not bad. What Not would bad. one of these cost if I were to go out and buy one at, say, um, a fabrication shop and well, have it built for me? You can't do it. It has to be custom built. So that's one of the biggest things is there's nobody else that offers this assembly and this package available to you, which is a great thing that we offer. Um, if you're going to come to me and you want me to build this tower, weld everything up, um, there's always going to be a few variables involved from if we're installing it versus are we welding it, stuff like that. A tower like this. Fully assembled, put together, be around $1,850. So you're saving over $1,100 from the jump.